We are being quite boring today, but that is okay. <laughs> Am I in focus? Oh yeah, you can see my nice little zit on my cheek. Before we get, it's, I'm just gonna start again. Sheesh. Literally is a, you didn't even hear my hair. Decades since I was lost. Why? <gasps> Why can't I speak? Uh, I feel like it's been decades since I've been back on YouTube. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I honestly don't even remember when I posted my last YouTube video. As you know, the virus hit. I kind of stalked my YouTube channel for a bit because, well, one, my external hard drive broke. Two, the camera that I'm using broke. And so I just thought it was a sign, you know, a sign to take a break, just chillax, grow my TikTok. <laughs> and just spend time with family. So, but now we're back and I'm so excited to be back on YouTube because I missed you guys oh so much. How is your quarantine? Please put in the comments below how you are doing and how everything is going with you. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you wanna become a part of the Penguin family. Okay, so this video, <laughs> I've seen celebrities do it and I'm just gonna pretend like I'm a celebrity, okay. I wanted to answer Google's top questions for the first video back. And I thought this would be fun. I got my laptop here. This is, what is this doing here? I need to clean my apartment. Basically, <laughs> this sounds so weird, but you Google yourself and it'll show you like what people want to see or what people want to know about you. So we're gonna Google real quick. And we type in bang, bang, Lee. So now all these things have <laughs> um, a bunch of things below it, but this is kind of funny. Okay, so we're gonna go over the first question. Peng Peng Lee net worth. I like how that's the first question people want to know. I would like to know, so I'm gonna click on it and see what happens. Okay, so. <laughs> This is actually kind of funny. Peng Peng Lee is an American YouTube channel that has a net worth of $11,000 as of September 2020. Wow, guys, I have made $11,000 where? I like how people put in the effort to just say I have $11,000, but honestly, net worth is never something you should share. I will tell you that still trying to build, still trying to adult, and adulting is hard. So I don't know if that helps you, but take it as you want. <laughs> This is kind of cool. I didn't know this about myself. Celebpie.com also posted something and it says Peng Peng Lee wiki age net worth family bio and spouse. Ooh, I wonder if I have a spouse as of September 2020. To be honest, I don't even know if this is me. Maybe there's another Peng Peng Lee. They're just a bunch of questions. Full name Peng Peng Lee, which is wrong. That is not my full name. And if you know my full name, put it in the comments below. And I like how all of these are NA, which means not available. <laughs> so someone did put the time in at least to put my name on this celebpie.com website. All right, so the second question is Peng Peng Lee boyfriend question mark. Oh, the first thing in 2017, it says Peng Peng Lee on Twitter. Not only did she get married this Interesting. I am currently not married, even though I do have rings on my wedding finger, but that's just because they look nice on my wedding finger. It's not because I'm married, guys. I'm, no, no. I'm gonna click on this because I'm really curious as to, oh, I tweeted this. I said, not only did she get married this past weekend, but she also just won an Emmy in the category. So I think I'm talking about Deanna. Shout out to you, Deanna, I love you, miss you. Do I have a boyfriend? Hmm. That is something that you may or may never know until I get married. <laughs> you know, I like to keep this category very private because, I don't know, I just like to keep my boyfriends private. My boyfriends, like I have so many boyfriends. I don't know, I kind of respect also that they might not want to be on social media. Do I have a boyfriend? Maybe. I'm gonna keep that one a mystery for you guys. Peng Peng Lee Beam 10. This is the third question. I kind of like this one because it's kind of cool that my gymnastics has slowly slipped back. I am two years retired, guys. A lot of people still think I'm a gymnast. I am not. Sorry to break your heart. But let's click on Peng Peng Lee Beam 10. It's not really a question, but I do want to see what the first thing is on Google. Oh, it's a video of Kate. She's hugging me. 
me. This is so cute. But this is on YouTube. And if you do want to see my perfect 10 routine on beam, um, if you don't know that I was a gymnast, I was a gymnast back in the day. I competed for Team Canada and then I competed for UCLA and I got a couple tens uh, every now and then while I was at UCLA. But the highlight was NCAAs. They have a, quite a lot of videos on Google um, of my 10 routines. I like how people ask. I am always curious at what people want to know about me. It just seems so interesting because I just go about my daily life. Did Ping Ping Lee go to the Olympics? Let's click on this because that is also a very high question that a lot of people ask. She was a member of the Canadian team that qualified for 2012 Summer Olympics and committed to UCLA after the Olympics, where she led UCLA to a cup. They didn't even answer the question. <laughs> it's complicated because, yes, I helped Team Canada qualify to 2012 Olympics, and I was in a very good position to be named on the Olympic team. However, tragedy happened. <gasps> I got injured right at Olympic trials, tore my ACL. So I have a nice scar right here. Team Canada was so nice. They still wanted me to go with them, so they offered me to be their honorary team captain. So I still got to travel with them. And technically I still did go to the Olympics. I just didn't get to compete, unfortunately, because of my injury. But I still helped mentor and help the girls while they were there at London because I did compete in the O2 arena to help Team Canada qualify. Fun fact. <laughs> How tall is Peng Peng Lee? 5'2". Very straight to the point. <laughs> this is correct. I am 5'2". So I like how this question doesn't have to do with me, but it says, where is Kyla Ross now? Guys, she just graduated like five months ago, not even, but I like how this is a question people want to know already. I don't even know where Kyla is, to be honest. Ooh, Peng Peng Lee movie. The first thing that comes up is Full Out 2. And as some of you may know, I was discussing doing a movie to kind of represent the 2018 NCAAs and my journey of gymnastics and how I got injured in this tragic story and we kind of ended up with the finale of winning the national championships. I was in talk with a producer and director and unfortunately it did not go through because the project was just very rushed. They wanted to start filming without a script or kind of like really knowing my story. So I just thought it wasn't the right project for me, but it's really cool that Full Out 2 had to do with Oklahoma and I think that's absolutely amazing how they had UCLA in Oklahoma in both full out movies. Anyone who wants to help me produce it or direct it, I'm so down to do a movie because yes, I have been doing some acting, which is one of the questions kind of in this Google doc. I need water. It's really dry here. LA has been going through some fires and heat waves and I have been staying in my apartment because I'm gonna show you right now, actually. It is in Celsius because Fahrenheit still confuses me even though I've been here for a very long time. Uh, Los Angeles. Unhealthy air quality. We're not going outside currently. <laughs> well, laptop, water, and phone. All right, TikTok. That is the next question on Google that people like to search. So my TikTok is just Peng, and it's Peng Peng Seely. I think a lot of people think my last name is Klee. <laughs> Because on Instagram, there is another Peng Peng Lee, so I added, had to add the C in there. I started my TikTok back in January because I think people, a lot of people told me to get on it. And I'm like, eh, like, do I really want another social media app? I just kind of eventually caved and I got it. I looked at it. I didn't understand it. I never had a vine growing up either because I knew I would be addicted to that thing. I would do random videos. I did some singing videos. And I was getting like a thousand views, maybe. I thought it'd be fun to just have a fresh start on a new social media app and not tell anyone my background. So I'd go around to all these gymnastics meets and all these little gymnasts asked me to do TikTok videos with them. And I was more than happy to do all these TikTok videos. They taught me the renegade and it took me forever to learn this renegade dance. But then I kind of got addicted to it when quarantine hit, mid-March beginning of April. I love editing, so the fact that they had music and you can record it and combine it together and post it on Instagram, it was like a dream for me. So then I found these transition videos and it really intrigued me because it was so cool how you kind of like make a shirt just disappear and I don't know, like you can make yourself disappear. You could do all these things with these transition videos. So it was so cool, so I wanted to try it. And then I saw Romina. Um, she did a lot of behind the scene videos. And so I thought, ooh, maybe I can film behind the scene videos. Like all of a sudden it was getting like, I hit 10,000 views and it was so cool. And then it was like 20,000, 50,000, 100,000. And then my first video hit a million and it was so, so, so cool. 
I had no idea why it did well. And then I would try another video and I'm like, I don't understand why this video didn't do well, but that one did. I was just having a lot of fun creating all these things because again, I was, was not on YouTube. Camera broke, external hard drive broke, and so I needed something to keep me distracted during quarantine. But that's how TikTok works, so if you want to follow me on TikTok, you're more than welcome to, or on Instagram, or any other social media app or platform. The last question that we have is Peng Peng Lee, my perfect landing. So this is kind of cool, there's a my perfect landing wiki fandom page. It says Peng Peng Lee is an NCAA gymnast and Olympic captain as well as a commentator for Hillside. Fun fact with this, I'm going to do another YouTube video because I actually have not seen the episodes yet, but yes, that is me. And I will tell you the whole background story of kind of how that all evolved. But since we are back on YouTube, if you guys have any requests that you want to see, make sure to put it down in the comment below. If you like this video, hit that like button. A fan actually gave me this and I think it's so cute, but it lives in my apartment. I, it doesn't have a name, but it's just Penguin. So if you want to become a part of the Penguin family, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye-bye!